Alright you beautiful people, Kanzi here, bringing you episode 3 of Rise of the Holy Nation Iron Man Play 3. Starting this episode off, we have a Shack Patrol just outside of Bad Team. So the Holy Nation are fighting them, we are going to go and scavenge some of their kit, because we're pretty weak at the moment so we won't be able to help in the fight, but having some extra gear is going to be super useful. We've had a really good start so far, so we're doing very well for monies. But having some more is never going to be a bad thing. Also their equipment, just from looking at it, seems like it is going to be of decent quality. It's going to be better than what we have at the moment. And we should have a little look at their armor, see what they got. Unfortunately it is uniform, so Shek uniform. So if we were that within the Holy Nation, we're going to be attacked. It is a Katan, or Katan number 7, which is a very good bit of kit to find at this point in the game. Two blunt damage and like... 1.1 cut damage which is awesome it does weigh 40 kilos so my guy is not going to be able to swing it for a while he's got terrible dexterity and his strength's not super good but just running around with it is going to increase his strength trying to fight with it is going to increase his strength as well and if he manages to hit anything he's going to do a crazy amount of damage which is pretty good so we're just going to go around try to loot the guy so we've got a huge cleaver which looks pretty tasty as well that shack that woke back up has just been beaten up again so yet again a another decent plank so we are looking like we are going to loot some very good kit from this fight it's a shame we're not getting involved but my guy peter the hermit would just get absolutely destroyed at the moment he took one hit already and that caused quite a lot of damage so I think we're going to need to train on something a little bit easier, maybe some hungry bandits or some river raptors before we can get into these fights. But once we can, we will be. It is now episode three, which means any episode after this, we have to attack anyone that the Holy Nation would attack on site, which is going to be fine because we're going to annoy everyone so they will attack us if they see us as well. So it's going to be a nice little challenge. We have our backpack full now, so what we're going to do is we'll head back to Bad Teeth. We're going to drop the kit off to the guys that can use it or who it will be good on. Any stuff that we don't want will sell and we're going to be in a very good situation financially. What the plan is going to be is we're going to start moving our way over to Blister Hill, which is the capital of the Holy Nation, so it has more shops. So we're going to be able to get more gear there. So we should be in a good situation. We're going to move the weapons around. Give them to the guys that I think are going to be best with them. The stuff that we're not going to use now we're going to sell. The higher grade stuff we will keep for if we get any more recruits. Which we will be getting. I'm also going to need to sort out the medikits on my guys. Because one guy has all of them and then most people don't have them. So we're just going to split them out. And then we're just going to sell the odds and ends to the shop here. The plan now is to carry on our way to Blister Hill. Yes, it is the capital of the Holy Nation, but the High Lord Phoenix himself resides there. And if there was a more pure aura in Kenshi, we do not know it, for we are Okranites. Or whatever the guys would say, Peter the Herman would say something like that, he's a... Uh, He's a pretty pious man. So we're going to continue on our way to there. And one of the reasons we are going there is there is a snail house for sale, which is a big old building. So we're going to be able to put everything we need into it. And then what we can't fit in there, there are going to be a bunch of sheds that we can buy for storage. We have now entered Okrin's Pride, which is a very fertile valley within the center of the map. This is the heartland of the Holy Nation. And it is our duty as Okranites to defend it. We will burn the mutant, we'll kill the heretic and we'll purge the unclean. That might be the wrong franchise. But you get the idea. This is ours to defend and we will destroy all the narcos that would try to defile it. But as far as Kenji goes, this is a pretty nice area. Nice and flat as well, so we should be able to go and build a base here if we want. We'll go see what, if these traders have anything to trade. And it doesn't look like they are traders. They wanted us for an escort mission. I have a very nice place that I want to build the base in, but this does look like a pretty decent location. This looks like a very good opportunity. We've got a bunch of river raptors and the Holy Nation close by. If we can aggro the river raptors to us and then back down into the Holy Nation, hopefully the Holy Nation will fight the river raptors for us and we're gonna get a bunch of free meat and leather so this can work out very well 
Um, but it looks like the Holy Nation have just left us to it. So for us, this is going to be some target practice. And we just took four down, which isn't a biggie. And our guys are running off after the horde, which is not what we want because <laughs> those river raptors, despite how useless they are, they definitely would win the fight against us just through their sheer numbers. And my guys can't fight and a lot of them are unarmored, yada, yada, yada. We're a bunch of noobs <laughs> that would get killed by the river raptors. So we'll continue on our way for now. We are right by Blister Hill. So we are in a, a very good situation. Uh, but the River Raptors are still there. I reckon we can bait off a small group and then we can take them out and then we'll have some more meat because we're going to need food if we're in the base anyway. So we're going to go in, try to bait maybe four off and then pull back if it goes wrong. And uh, we have aggro pretty much the whole horde. Do you know what? I, I reckon we go for it. We'll move back a little bit and then go back in, see if any Diagro. Uh, yeah. We should have this. If we can get some decent cleaves off at the start and hit a bunch of them, we're going to be nicely off. Okay, yeah, this is this is uh, not, not going right. But my guys are probably just about as slow as River Raptors now. And I don't know who's been clocked in the legs. So we're going to take this fight. Worst case scenario, we get a bit tougher. One of my guards will get back up, they always do, and they can just heal the others. River Raptors aren't known for their high bleed damage, so we should be a-okay. Gnu's doing really well, he's taken what looks like about five down, and he's just hacking through them. That pole cross, that cross pole arm, that's one. Cross pole arm is doing very well. Peter the Hermit, not so great, and everyone else is down other than John. Uh, John's good taking a bit of a kick in. John's probably not going to be in it for too long. And it looks like I was wrong about that bleed damage. Yeah, they do a decent amount. John's bleeding out quite a lot. Gnu's taking a fair amount of bleed damage as well and is getting beaten up. Okay, so now it is all down to Peter the Hermit. And we all know how bad my Mariko is, so don't expect miracles. But what we're going to do is we'll change it out to the Naganata. That's going to have a quicker attack speed. It's going to have some decent reach. So what I should be able to do is I should be able to bait back, get an alpha strike off, get back in and go around. That, what we will do actually before that is I'm going to need to check, see who's bleeding out first. And hopefully we can patch up their injuries because I don't really want to lose anyone this early on. If it happens, it happens. Uh, <laughs> We're still doing better than the last playthrough. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we lost a lot of people at the start of that, and then at the end. But details with the Holy Nation this time, with the Okra Knights, we will fight and we will win. Gnu says we got this, but Gnu's also unconscious, so it's just his instinctual reactions kicking in there. Classic, classic Gnu. <laughs> um, right, I guess uh. I'm going to have to put you through my terrible micro. Yeah, scratch that. Um, I, I watched it and that hurt my feelings try, <laughs> trying to watch me do it. So uh, what we've done is we've skipped right to the end. We're only a couple hits off and then hopefully we'll be in a situation. Ariana's getting back up, but she is bleeding quite a lot. So I don't know how much shoe she's going to be and how long she's going to stay up. But... We haven't lost anyone yet, which is pretty good. I'm not sure why Ariana's not healing herself, seeing as she looks like she's about the first person to bleed out. We do need to keep an eye on Mabel and Caroline because they took a bit of a kick in. So we're going to need to get everyone over to Mabel as soon as we can because Mabel is nearly dead. And my first aid skills are terrible at the moment. And this is something one that we could save. But it's not looking good. <laughs> ah, okay. Mabel's dead. And John's dead. Okay, and then there was four. Alright, we're going to get patched up and then we'll continue on into Blister Hill. We have just made it to the bar so we can rest up. We did strip all of the river raptors of their meat and animal hides. We've also stripped our dead comrades of all of their gear. This means we're going to be able to give it to someone else or we're going to be able to sell it depending on what we find. But we have 
manage to make it to blister hill which is a very good situation for us there's going to be a bunch of bars around so we're going to be able to hire new recruits we have the money for it we're also going to be able to buy that snail house and we're going to be able to start some minor production as well i have had a look around and there are a couple iron ore deposits nearby we will talk to the client and see if we can get any work for killing nasties so i imagine it will be defeating the enemy and that should give us the job working for the gate guards since as we will be fighting bandits and river raptors we might as well get paid a little bit extra for it so that is going to be pretty ideal we'll have a little look see if there's anyone wait you are in the wrong neighborhood bonehead somebody get a paladin we have an inquisition to carry out by the strength of okran i will carry you to rebirth myself or however we go around it i reckon if i go and attack him I reckon the rest of the Holy Nation would get bitter because I've just attacked someone in their city. Which is annoying because the whole thing is that we're meant to be killing off the narcos. But this one, I can't attack. We do have Dusty who will be joining us. If you want to have Dusty and you want to rename him and change his appearance, just comment down in the comments section below. We do need to sell what we got from the River Raptor corpses. So the stuff we're not going to use, we'll get rid of. And we're also going to need to go and equip up Dusty. So we're going to give him some armor and then we're going to change his weapons across. I am a fan of pole arms, but right now it's not a very good one. So we're going to give him not a good plank, but a plank nonetheless. And right in the middle here is the snail house and we are going to buy that. That is where we're going to put most of our production and our storage. So we'll move everyone across to here. Then when we have a chance, we'll start putting in beds and production. So now this is going to be our base of operations for the moment. And as you can see, it is a fairly decent size. The top half of that building to the left is where the High Lord Phoenix himself is. So if we're lucky, we might get a glimpse of him. For Ogren! And over here we have a backpackers. So we should be able to get like splints, medikits, backpacks and general venture kit and footwear. So this should be pretty decent. It's not looking like the Holy Nation has much in the way of supplies, but then I guess it kind of fits with their fluff. So we can get a couple items here if we need them. At the moment, they don't have anything that we need. There are a couple bars on the other side of town, so we're going to swing by into them, see if there's anyone that's going to be worth recruiting or if there's anything of interest. And yet again, a, another narco in the Holy Nation. Someone really needs to carry out an inquisition before the narcos spread and corrupt the weak of mind. What we have here is we have Swampy Dog. So what we're going to do for Swampy Dog is we're going to make him quite small. He's going to stand with his arms crossed and he's basically just going to suffer from a very aggressive case of Little Man Syndrome. All right, looking good. I reckon that is about right. And here's little Swampy Dog. Actually thinking about it, having someone running around that looks like a child in a town full of religious nut jobs might not be the most responsible thing to do. But we'll see how he gets on. I believe in Swampy Dog. He can fight his corner. <laughs> he should be alright. Um, what's the Swampy Dog's also going to be? Swampy Dog is going to be a healer, so he's going to be one of our medics and one of our farmers. In the snail house, we do have a, enough space so we can start some hydroponics. I will actually put that to you guys if I'm allowed to use hydroponics because the Holy Nation doesn't actually use them but getting food otherwise is going to be a little bit more challenging but that will be up to you guys so just message down below if we think that we can use hydroponics or not in this playthrough because it is not Holy Nation tech because they might see it as like narco or skelly heretical technology so understandable if not but if you guys are happy for me to use it I'll use it if not not a problem we will adapt or improvise and we will overcome we have just got super lucky a big old swarm of river raptors just came down from the north so the holy nation went out to fight them unfortunately they killed off the river raptors before we had a chance to go in and attack them but we managed to loot a whole ton of meat books and animal skins which we are pretty happy about so we're going to be stocked up on food for a decent while. Juggernauts can eat raw meat, whereas my other colonists, my Greenlanders, can't. We also have an iron ore vein, which uh, I have a couple of my guys working on. If we can set it right, 
what we might be able to do is put a storage unit into one of the sheds for iron ore and then have someone hauling to it so they'll be able to go up and empty out that iron ore reserve and run it back to the base but sometimes man kenchi does look pretty good we have sent peter the hermit down to the holy nation construction worker there's a few bits that we got from the river raptors that we don't need at the moment so we're selling off so we can get some more money and things that we do need is we need iron plates we need building materials and we need to start stockpiling hemp and cloth now so we can get ideally hemp production up when we can and in the meantime we can be producing stuff off the cloth that we have what we also want to do is we want to get a small research lab going so we can start getting our tech going. What I have used is the godsend research, which means that any vanilla research is free to do. The reason for that is it will keep the playthrough moving forward and we'll be able to go on more adventures instead of being stuck in the base, just trying to sort our research out. But what we have found is a pack of wild mules. I mean, what could go wrong? We're low level and there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, this should be good training for us. Are we expecting to win? No, but at least we'll knock a few of them down. And if we knock a few of them down, we're going to be able to get their meat. We're going to be able to get their animal hides and it will just be a decent amount of training. The Holy Nation is involved and hoping now we have joined with the client that if we get knocked down around the gate guards, they should come in and help us. Okay, so this is not going to plan. We already have a swampy dog starting to bleed out on the floor. We've got Gnu, well now Gnu's down, and also Peter the Hermit is down as well. Uh, <laughs> we have been in worse situations. These mules, once they knock us out, will get bored and move on. Still holding out some hope that the Holy Nation will decide to get involved sometime soon. But then a lot of the mules aren't here anymore, so they might have gone into the town and are fighting the Holy Nation in there. So once the Holy Nation clears up the mules in the town, they'll probably head out and then be able to heal us up. So we won't need to worry about too much, but we are sending Ariana out. If Ariana heads out, she can at least help heal. So it's going to be some medical experience and strength training. He was fighting four mules. He is down now, but that's kind of to be expected. But yeah, pretty good going considering we only just hired him and I don't think he's been in a fight yet. But we will try to get Ariana over. We're going to send Gnu and Peter the Hermit over just to make sure we don't lose another character because that is not something that we want to be doing just yet in the game or really at any point. But my micro, as always, is atrocious and I don't look after my characters. As we saw earlier when I lost two characters to some River Raptors. <laughs> river raptors they're not really on your list of threats within the game of kenshi annoying definitely annoying when you have a farm and they keep trying to eat everything but yeah not something that that you worry about kind of just goes to show our guys aren't particularly great yet but then you know early games they haven't trained really all we've really been doing is trying to get their strength up so it is kind of to be expected the mules are getting cleared up quite quickly, so we will use this as a opportunity to go around and loot as many of them as we can. We are going to set off the iron ore that we have been mining, then we're going to go to construction trader and buy some materials that we will need to put in the storage and the writing desk for in the snail house. In this episode, I have been experimenting with a new editing style and technique. So if you guys could let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below with a little bit of feedback to try and help me improve. This way, I'm going to be able to use that feedback to try to create better quality content on this channel. Because that's what I want to do is I want to make the best quality content I can for you guys for your viewing pleasure. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I need to bring the episode to an end. So thank you very much for watching episode three of Rise of the Holy Nation. I have been Konzi. All your likes, comments, subs have been amazing. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you on the next one.